so hello everyone today what i'm going to do i'm going to create one integration procedure and using the loop block element so we have more of uh, uh what do you say requirement where we need to create a, some comma separated or we can have any 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 other identifier separated string using the uh, input as a list item so mostly the scenario will come like this let's say i'm having order line items and I'm having products with IDs and name and other values and I have to convert with IDs with having this sub uh, string values uh, with the values of uh, first ID value with comma separated second and third and fourth something like that or I can have name as a first second and third something like that so uh, what how I'm going to do let's start uh, we'll go to our org this is my new data new integration procedures it will be demo loop block ip it will be convert list to string right so what i'm going to do a um, few things which we need to understand i'll be taking set value then what i'm going to do i'm going to use my loop block inside that loop block again i'm going to set some values and then i'm taking in the response action so these are the skeleton which i'm going to create now the first one I need to initiate some string values to the blank so I'm doing initiate a string value all right so what I'll do I will initiate some empty value okay now i'm assigning that value to let's say concatenate string now this is just a variable where i'm assigning one empty value right now now i need to do looping of my loop block this is happening so what i'm going to do if you go to my this this is the input so i'll take this input i will go to preview and i will add it as a json and i will keep it here all right now input having this and the looping has to be happen inside this one so we will take order line items property with the products so here i need to do the looping of this thing inside this thing now here i need to concat it so what i'm going to do value i will define one variable concat and then i have to write one formula so what i'm going to do the value which i have taken from my thing concat a string plus it's comma separated value plus what I'm going to do it is order line items products and then ID so this is the things which I'm going to do okay this is fine all right this is the same value which we need to take here this is the concat string so i'm just copying for my reference go inside and this is just a same value now in the response transform concat the this value has to be assigned to this one again so that it will 
do the looping of this thing and this is my response and then let's see what will happen what will be the outcome we'll we'll check the return full data and we'll try to execute it again let's see see the concat string is having this value if you see right now and this is coming as a so if i'll go here if i'll see my yep this is this i have to take out so but if you see right now there is one comma is coming in front of it so we have to remove we have to trim this thing so i'll go to again i'll take the set value trim value now to trimming the value what we will do we will say trim a string all right what we will do uh we can use substring and uh, what else what is substring but substring of what concat string one and let's see what will happen here all right now uh, what we can see the response and response let's see first this one how that's going to work see this is coming right this concat were having this and this is having this now we can pass this trim string value to out, out output so let's go we'll go back to the property we'll copy trim value we'll go to response action trim values and trim string this we have to pass as a uh, response output something like that now let's see will not return the full data, data string or data json now let's try to execute it see this is the way it's coming now if you wanted to keep so if you go with to our requirement this was the first requirement we wanted to achieve it ids as this i have just kept it as a this thing so i can do to like this ids if you go to here ids are coming if you wanted to keep it as a name i will keep it as a names in my concatenate one i'll go here and i'll put as a name and if you wanted to execute see the name is coming so using loop block and formulas of uh, formulas uh, functions in integration procedure you can take the value of any list uh, json and you can convert those values into the string uh, some uh separated values like comma or you can use any uh, delimiter any any delimiter you can use so i just used the delimiter here some people wants to use delimiter here so they can change just like underscore or some pipe separated so let's see how how this will come let's execute it this is the pipe separated value can come so if i increase this thing let's say broadband 400 and some value to h and execute it so you see right now this is the way 